everyone, I just want to quickly share with you my birdcage mini. This is that birdcage that I had um, mentioned in my last video. Um, you can get this at Michael's. It has a vintage look to it. It's in that same section where you can get um, these boxes at. And as you all know, I collect bird cages. I originally collect them as home decor, but since I had changed my scrap room and brought them in here, um, I knew I had to make some kind of mini and incorporate it in one of these bird cages. So when I saw it yesterday, I knew instantly that I had to make a bird mini and have it hang from the bird cage. So this is what it looks like. And the top of the bird cage has this cute little bird right here. It's really cute. And they have a couple of different sizes um, of bird cage, but I wanted this one. So basically, it has this hook right here on the side, and then you just open it up. And on what I did um, to the front real quick, I added these Madeline King Company butterfly chipboard pieces. So I add three, because you always want to do it in odd numbers, because it draws the eye more. And so it, you just basically take it out, and the base is really pretty. So you just kind of twist it, and it comes out. It has these really neat feet. And there's like three of them. And I love the look of this because it, it's all banged up and the paint's chipped and it's really vintage. So what I did was, um, for the little, um, what do you call that? The bar where the birds, you know, sit on, I actually used some ribbon. And it's a leaf ribbon that I had gotten at my local um, scrapbooking store. I'm not sure if you can see it. And I put it across the cage. And because of the way the wires are set, it's kind of crooked. So the ribbon is not going to be even when you, I mean, um, tight across. So I let it hang a little bit loose, just enough to where the bird sits on the ribbon. So it gives it a little extra support. Because the bird is only hung by um, a garment pin, um, let me set the base somewhere else. Okay, so let me just show you how I did this. So, it's a little tricky. I mean, you got to get your hands in here, but it's going to be displayed in my room, so I won't be taking it in and out. So you just take the pin out, and the pin is hooked on that little this little circle right here. It's hooked on the bottom. See that down there? So let me just take the pin out and just remove him out of the cage here. And so basically it's hung by one of those Tim Holtz um, swivel clasp and I put it um, actually upside down because I hooked the garment pin to the bottom of the swivel clasp, if you can see that. And then I added a little charm down here and then the swivel clasp is held onto the D-ring. And I wanted to use a D-ring because I wanted, you know, because the D-ring is kind of, well, it's the shape of a D, obviously, and the birds lay flat onto um, the ring. It just sat better. Because I tried it with the circle one, and I liked the way it, it um, was on, you know, with the D-ring. So basically, I added some charms to the swivel clasp. I added a forever charm and then this crown that says made with love. And then the bird, I had a chipboard piece of a bird and I basically just traced it. And then I placed it in my scanner and then I just enlarged it on my computer. Um, because I didn't have a die. I have two bird dies from Sizzix, but it wasn't big enough to where it would fit in the cage. It was just too small. So that's when I decided to just create my own. And I love the shape of the bird on that um, chipboard piece I had. And so what I did was I added some fiber and I love how Regina adds these tool as a ribbon on her minis. So I did that to the bird. So thanks Regina for sharing that. And 
I basically glimmer mist all the birds and this is using the Kane Company Lovely um, paper collection and I added some of the um, black soot distress powder around the whole bird and all the birds eyes are the heart of Prima Blings and so I added a feather the bird has to have his feathers and then an ornate plate um, with an Adash ticket love and so the other side of the bird I just kept it plain because that's where I'm going to place the photo and then I just decorated um, this bird so I added some Prima ribbon and again a Prima heart bling and these little uh, clear dew drops and then I just edged the bird with some red um, color box ink and then here this is a boa in pink and then a pink uh, Prima heart with the eye and I also added the extra large red eyelets on each of the birds and then this is just a journal ticket with some Prima flower and here's some Prima ribbon um, I basically just folded it in half and then I stapled it with a tiny attacher and then I made two of them to make its wings and then add some Prima um, flower and then this one's a file I just took the design paper and made um, it's from Quick Cuts the file and then I just added a dash ticket and then it just opens like that and then a Prima flower. I kept it pretty simple because I didn't want the mini to be too heavy because again it's only being held by the garment pin and the ornate plate itself already is heavy so I didn't want to add too much so all I have to do to finish it is just add some photos and you know add a little journaling to it and then it just hangs like that and then you just hook it back into the cage oops sorry just hang it back on there and then it just hangs like that and then you just put the bird on top of the ribbon so he's sitting on it and there you have it, a bird cage with a bird mini. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. I had a great time. I actually made this today. I had fun making this. And um, as you all know, I love bird cages. So I have to find a spot for this in my room. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.